let's go ahead and jump into it. So this first request um, was, I don't even know how to say this, Dos Moser uh, by Goopy and Fraxium. And then the person who requested it actually uh, gave me a little bit of insight. Let me look at all these requests. So I stopped at 13 and I thumbs up them to know that that's where I stopped, which inertia years is number 13. So hopefully we get to it. But then there's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, total 25 requests this time around. So if we're just counting like one request from each person. So that's a lot. And we'll, like I said, we're not going to have time to get to all of them, but let's go ahead and jump in. So uh, the person who requested this one said that uh, Goopy, who is the brown-haired kid in the music video, is literally Tony Hawk's son. So, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of Tony Hawk. I have, like, uh, I took it to my office, but I have, like, a signed picture of Tony Hawk. And I never, well, never was really into skateboarding, but I loved uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Um, kind of grew up. It's actually what introduced me to ska music was playing Tony Hawk. So, um I would have, I definitely owe it a debt of gratitude. So I'm excited to listen to this one. Let's jump into it again. Goopy and Fraxium, uh, those Mosier. Uh, let me grab the lyrics as well, just real quick. Just like last time, I already have all the lyrics pulled up. I just need to drag them over from another window. Perfect. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, 
Fortnite. I love to play Fortnite! Whoa! I want to play Fortnite! <laughs> oh, I uh, forgot it jumps right into the next one when you have it on a playlist. My bad. That That's the next one right there. We'll, we'll come back to that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of with you guys in the comments. Like, I don't really know what to, uh, what to think about that one. Um, I gotta say, like, it's definitely not, uh, the kind of music that I typically listen to. Um, but I didn't necessarily hate it. Like, uh, <laughs> maybe it's like the, the millennial in me, but I was like, you know, it's not, it's not the worst thing I've ever heard. And like some of the old, like dead memes were kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I it was it was definitely different. I did have to like turn down my volume on my headphones just because like it was very much like ah at first it was it was almost like hurting my ears and I was like okay uh, definitely a different style. I mean very chaotic, um, but it kind of worked for me weirdly enough. Like I, I could see myself under the right circumstances listening to this again. With that said, I don't know if this is a song that like. I, I willingly come back to frequently, but uh, again, under the right circumstances, I could see it being kind of, uh, this is sort of that song, that kind of song where like I would listen to it for a laugh, right? Like, okay, this is kind of funny. It's like listening to Weird Al or something, right? And just like, I'm here for just some fun. And it was very fun, I think, in a lot of ways. So taking a quick look at the lyrics, I mean, there was a lot uh, going on here. And I think I have the right lyrics, I hope so, because this is credited to Food House versus uh goopy and and whoever fax fraxium so uh can i meet you uptown at the station because i downloaded all my applications and i'm just trying to airdrop something special can goopy turn the snare up one more level like 303 i remember 303 was huge on tumblr i feel like this this gave me a big big tumblr vibes from back in the day like 303 we roll up fuck you old rock got lots of shit we rolled up from the sidewalk might drop it in the toilet fuck it roll it uh, this beat's so good, you think that someone stole it, but we don't. But we don't got no numbers in the title. Uh, oh, look at what I did there! I'm so spiteful. I turn heads like a DJ twist their dial. So I, I think I, I very much got the vibe from this song, um, lyrically and from the uh, music video that it is sort of taking taking a shot at like again, kind of was popular in that Tumblr era. I don't, I'm not too sure when this song came from, but. Um, I turn heads like a DJ Twister dial right now. I need a weed tray. Where's your Bible? Give myself to the Gex pit. Break my spinal. Those NYU kids wreck shit. Fall, uh, falling tiles. The energy I felt there got me fucked now because now I think I might have some kind of luck now. I didn't expect the didn't expect the check one two is the mic on check on you is the vibe off check like wet Coca-Cola check like Caroline Pola. Check three four is your ride gone. Double check, make sure you're the right one. Only got one night, so DM me right now if you need a bad bitch with an iPod. Um, give a fuck what my schedule says. I don't give a fuck till I'm fucking dead. Give a fuck what my schedule says. Fuck Notch, fuck Musk, and I'll piss on Zed. So uh, yeah, Notch was like the guy who created Minecraft too. I think very infamously started spouting like you know anti-Semitism and stuff like that. Uh, Elon Musk is just, in my opinion, an, like an objectively terrible person, so I, I get that. Um, and I'm not sure who he means by Zed. I'm, I'm guessing Zuckerberg. Uh, also, pretty terrible person. Give a fuck what my schedule says. I don't give a fuck till I'm fucking dead. Give a fuck what my schedule says. Fuck Notch, fuck, fuck Musk, and I'll piss on Zed. I want to steal Red Bull, skip school, no brakes when I drive. And even when you have gone to, uh, to snooze, I'll still be alive. I type trouble in my GPS and go for a drive. That's kind of a cool line. Like that's Some of these lines made me, made me laugh, and, and that one's kind of cool. I type trouble in my G T GPS and go for a ride. Um, take hot photos on my 3DS flip note over my can I get paid yet? I'm this good. I haven't been to LA yet. I think this really like captures the vibe of uh, of like the younger millennials. Again, the ones who like grew up with a 3DS. Lord knows it's not me. I, my first one ever was a Game Boy Pocket. Um, but I can see like the younger millennials. This is like their culture. Maybe even Gen, maybe stepping into Gen Z territory as well. Can I get paid yet? I'm, I'm this good. I haven't been to LA yet. I'm in a mood. I haven't been outside today. I'm stepping out. It's 8 p.m. And I'm about to fuck McDonald's up. Fuck McDonald's up. I don't give a fuck. Um, will you love me even when it gets cold and my bullshit gets old? Because I'm not always proud. I don't always want to yell loud. But I feel like I could right now. Can I meet, your, uh, meet you at town at the station? Because I downloaded all my applications and I'm just trying to airdrop something special. Can Goopy turn 
the snare up one more level. Yeah, I think it's I think it was really trying to capture again that that sort of like young millennial, maybe older Gen Z energy of just like being on the internet and uh just although kind of weird uh, the sort of weird lawlessness that we grew up in you know I, I i'm fortunate enough to be old enough to remember some of the uh the older you know social media and stuff like that uh the old instant messengers and skype before people stopped using it that kind of thing chat roulette you know it's just it was a very weird time i feel like in the internet and i feel like this captures a lot of that same energy so uh you know lyrically like i said there were some parts that really made me laugh Made me smile, some parts that were kind of cool. So I think lyrically, at least, I'll give it a thumb up. Why not? Um, instrumentally, this one, like I said, is very chaotic, very all over the place. I don't know if I'm going to come back and willingly listen to this very much. Um, but I think it was a fun listen, I think, along with a music video. I think that really helped it out. Um, but un under the right circumstances, you know, I could see myself coming back to this. Uh, just not very often. So uh, instrumentally, it was it was very weird. Um but some cool parts in there. The piano was good um, that they threw in there near the end. Uh, very like EDM sort of like that. That style was kind of cool. Um, and so yeah, it was it was fine. I give it a thumb up. As far as replay value goes, like I said, I don't think I'm coming back to this one too willingly. So I'm just going like neutral again under the right circumstances. Yeah, I, I could listen to it, but you know, it is what it is. So overall, not a not a terrible song. Um, but definitely, uh, <laughs> kind of a weird one to start off with. So anyway, thank you for the request as always. Um, I appreciated it and let's go ahead and move on.